piece by piece, search and rescue teams bring back what they've found floating on the Java Sea. ID cards, passports and other personal items belonging to some of the 189 people on board are being sorted. Body parts are being taken to a nearby hospital where relatives have the harrowing task of making identifications. Our family is still hoping she survives. We still have a big hope for that. But if she did not survive, we pray that her remains can quickly be discovered so we can take her home to be buried. Finding out what happened in the final moments of Lion Air Flight 610 and why it crashed into the sea soon after takeoff is likely to take a long time. My father was on board, but we still don't know. We are still hoping for the best because there hasn't been an official statement from Lion Air. So we are still hoping for the best. But increasingly, speculation is turning to a problem with the instruments in the cockpit, giving false readings. Lion Air has confirmed there was a technical problem with the plane before it took off from Bali to Jakarta on Sunday. It says the issue was fixed, but during that flight, the pilot reported problems with the flight control system. And satellite data collected by independent flight monitoring websites shows unusual fluctuations in speed and altitude soon after it took off from Bali. The situation stabilized and Lion Air says the problem was fixed again when it landed in Jakarta and it was cleared to take off on Monday morning. It crashed some 12 minutes after it left the Indonesian capital. Small pieces of debris are being found but the search for the main wreckage continues. Today we've adjusted our calculations and widened our search areas to 18.5 kilometers. On the Java Sea, more than 800 people are involved in the search for debris, bodies and clues to what happened to Lion Air Flight 610. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.